Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Fears to Fathom Home Alone. Now, this game is basically an episodic horror game in which we play different scenarios as survivors of real life crime. So, in this first episode, which is called Home Alone, I believe we're playing as a 14 year old boy who must survive this house when someone tries to break in. Now, I don't really know too much about this game other than it's meant to be really scary. I think it uses the microphone to some degree, so sometimes it can pick up my voice when we're like going around together in the house. And uh, yeah, it's just meant to be scary, it's meant to be based on real life events, I don't know how true that is. And it's meant to have this kind of really realistic look and feel to it. So, I'm eager to play it, but I'm also kind of scared today. The new episode has just come out, so I thought I'd play this one first, because I never did. And then if we like this, I'll play the new episode as well. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this series on the channel. With that said guys, this is Fears to Fathom Home Alone Edition, so let's dive in and see what this game is all about. So it says, Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You are playing episode 1, with more episodes coming soon. The episode playtime is around 20 minutes. So here's the new one, the Norwood Hitchhike. We're going to be playing Home Alone today, so let's dive in and see if we can survive. Here we go, Fears to Fathom, episode 1, Home Alone, July 12th. Oh, guys, I'm already getting nervous about this game, I'll tell you that. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. You're excused, you know. You're a survivor, apparently. I don't know if this is actually a true story or not. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day, though I did plan on fixing that. So that's ample time for the killer to get into the house then, at any point. Oh, here we go. There's an alarm going off. Does that mean he's inside already? That sounds like a house alarm. What the heck? Oh, we have to turn this off? That is literally the most annoying and ear-piercing alarm clock I've ever heard in my entire life. Imagine that waking you up every day. That's mad. Is anyone outside the house? I don't see anyone outside. It, it looks clear. What's this? We've got a school book there. I guess he is meant to be a 14 year old kid, so... Oh! Escape to read text messages. So this is from our mom. So at the top he says, sure thing mom. Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid mom? I'm 14. I think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably going to order some pizza, yes? No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning, check the fridge. Okay, so that's from mom. What about the other message? So this is from Mason Oliver. How's Kem? Ah, oh, yeah, crap, I forgot. Probably gotta do it tonight. Lol, same. My parents are out for the night. Wanna come over? We can play Mario Kart too. Okay, call Josh too. I can't promise, dude. May have plans with Nat. So let's escape. So that's his friend he's speaking with from school about their chemistry homework. And uh, before that, our mother, who says we've got lasagna. Wait, was someone in here just then? See to crouch, what the heck? Wait, is someone outside? Guys, I'm getting scared and paranoid already. What the What the Why did that go up by itself? I don't know what's even going on, guys. Maybe we walk past and may automatically go up or something. Let's get our lasagna out. Where is it? Here? Yes. The food was cold. Or let's heat it up then, I guess. Oh no, don't go up again. So where do we heat this up? Microwave? Or just oven? There you go, put it in the oven. Is there like a light switch? Because it's very dark in this house, you know? Wait, what's that noise? Oh, does it need to come out? The food was heating up. Okay. Do I want to investigate the house? Guys, the sound effects are horrible. I'm sure you can hear them. They're all around me. 
Here we go, the food was nice and hot. I like watching TV while I eat. Oh my god, guys. I feel like I can hear someone in the house already. What the heck? Alright, let's put the TV on. Okay, let's see if we can sit down. Right, what do we do now? Can we eat? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can eat. Look. Lovely. We're having dinner. We're watching TV. Oh. I don't know if I just saw something, man. I'm just... <gasps> Someone on the stairs! Guys, did you see that? Someone was actually on the stairs then. Just moving up the stairs. Someone's in the house. Do I have to eat the whole dinner before I can get up? Okay, quick, eat it. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. Wait, what? Do we have to go upstairs? No! Don't sit back down! Stand up, please! All right, I'm turning this off. Screw that. He said he was sleepy after eating the food. But guys, the guy went upstairs. I saw his feet go upstairs. We got two texts. We're going to have to call it off, man. Something just came up. But you got to come to Jessica's tomorrow. Oh, man. Can we not just leave the house? I'm going to do that. Wait, the door is locked. Do I go upstairs? He said he was tired. I gotta go upstairs, I think, guys. Actually, can I not just run out of the house? Look, the door is open, see? He's come in. We can't leave, guys, we can't leave. Oh my god. He's in the house with us and we can't leave. This is absolutely nuts. Ugh. We're gonna have to go upstairs. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh my god! I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I just got that message. Please, leave me alone. Can we go into our room? He's not here! What the... Where is he? Where's this killer? This guy that we saw. He... Is he in the closet? Please don't be in the closet. He said he's gotta go to sleep. If we go to sleep, do we die? I remember I had homework to do before bed. Okay, let's do the homework. Let's do the homework. Don't. Don't. Just do the homework. We did it! Okay, 12.38am. I got the homework done in a few hours. Okay, good. Now what do we do? Now what happens? Two text messages. So mom says, don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula this time. All right. So what's the idea? Do I go to bed? Is that smart? I think I'm going to die if I go to bed, but I just don't want to be walking about the house. 1.16 a.m. I got up to get some water. No, man, I don't like this because he's in the house, isn't he? This is where he's going to be in like the closet or something and he's going to come out. I guarantee it. All right. Wait, I hear him. Man, we got to get some water, bro. Oh, please. Oh, God. Crouch. There's no lights. Do we have to do this in the dark? Because this is nuts. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I actually do. Where do we get water from? The kitchen, right? What's that noise? What the heck is that noise, guys? Where do we get the water from? Do we need a glass? Do we need to turn on the lights? Because I can't see anything right now. Yes, there's water. Right click to drink. Okay, let's drink it quickly and go back to bed. I mean, potentially, I would be getting out of the house now. Well, not potentially. Like, I would have been getting out of the house by now. Why does he walk up the stairs so slowly, man? 
This is horrible. Is anyone behind me? I bet the killer has gone into the room now, right? It must have done. I'm shutting the door. We need to lock this door. Mom, one image attached. You there? Who's at the door? Oh my god, what the heck? Look, the killer is at the door right now. Oh my god. Hide, hide under the bed, hide under the bed, hide under the bed. So what do we do? We have two options, right? We can either leave, try and escape through an exit, like uh, one of the doors, or we can wait here and hope he doesn't find us. I'm freaking out, I don't like this. Can't see anybody in the room. So, we could just leave. We could just get back out. I'm going to leave. Can I just put, first of all, can I hide in the closet? I'm really scared. I just made a noise with the bottle as well. Guys, we're going to go downstairs and try and escape. Okay. Here it is. Here we go. This is where I die. Oh my god! Four text messages. Paula sent me. She's been... Said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer. No matter what. Okay? No! Don't open the freaking thing! Oh my god! What the heck, guys? That jump scare scared the heck out of me. And the game just closed down. What the heck? It said to lock the doors. I went to lock the doors. <sighs> okay, I'm going to play that again, guys. I'm going to try and do it a little bit differently this time. Oh, man, that was scary. I think the creepiest bit was when he went upstairs while we are eating dinner. I'm going to try texting her back. Can I write help? Help us, mom. <laughs> I can't. Okay, we can't message our mom back. So, this time, I think we go downstairs, but we don't interact with the doors. Because last time I clicked on the door trying to lock it, it just opened it. Mom says, We're calling the cops. Lock every door and hide in your room. Look. Don't answer the door. I'm not going to the door. I'm going back upstairs this time, guys. You know, obviously last time we got caught, I'm going into my room, shutting the door. No, don't shut it behind. Now hopefully the guy that snuck up the stairs isn't in the house though. Hopefully there's not two of them. I'm going to click and hide under the bed again. And hopefully this time, you know, we don't get caught. I'm not going to the door. Um, I'm just going to wait here. Oh, he's breaking in. He is breaking in. Alright, let's just chill. Let's all just chill. This is fine. Don't answer the door. Don't answer the door. That's what they said, so I'm not going to answer it. I don't care if it's a nice lady from next door, Paul or whatever she's called. You know, we're just... We're just waiting it out. Nope. Nope. I am hiding. I am staying under the bed as I was instructed. It's Paula at the door. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Is it Paula at the door, though? Is it Paula at the door? Is it Paula at the door? I don't know. Oh, my God. Oof. Okay, 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 he's in the house. Paul is at the door, but he's in the house. So we gotta go back. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. And we gotta hide. Click to hide. Guys, we just gotta get to that front door. But the killer's in the house. In our parents' room. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? I think we have to get up. Oh. The police. The police are here. Guys. Did we make it? 
The police are here. We survived. We hid. We didn't go for the door. So let's go down and see if now we can just go and speak to the police. Because surely the killer's not going to try and get us now. I'm going to the front door. Hey, we survived. There's Paula and there's the police. Is the killer in the house still? Please don't be in the house. No, we did it. I think that's it. We got the achievement, Survivor. Okay, guys. Well, that's really cool. Survive through the first episode. We got the achievement. That was Fierce to Fathom Home Alone. There wasn't actually too much in the way of gameplay there. And I think I spent a long time getting to the end of that chapter just because I was scared. So I'll probably cut quite a lot of this episode down in length. Um, just because I've been recording for like half an hour. And that was probably like, I don't know, 15 to 20 minute video tops. But yeah, I enjoyed it. It definitely, like, sometimes I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do when I got the lasagna. I didn't know I had to click on it to eat it. And I didn't realise I had to go down to the fridge to get the water. Like, from the fridge, I thought we had to get, like, a glass and get it from a tap or something. But apart from those, like, little issues where I wish the game was a little clearer, I did think it was really good. And I'm looking forward to playing Chapter 2 now. Like, it was actually really scary, that game. One of the few games I've been genuinely scared to play in a long time. So, yeah, that was good. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it today. Thanks for tuning in and watching the video, as always. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a like and a comment down below if you can. And, of course, if you're new, remember to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.